are just dropped. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to EGL at DreamHack Valencia. Valencia. Yeah. Sorry, <laughs> that went horribly <laughs> wrong, but never went mind. Spanish, if yeah. that's the worst thing that happens for the rest of this stream, praise your lucky socks. But never mind, we're going to go back into this S and D. And I am Bryce, and I'm joined by the wonderful town. We apologize, can only apologise once again for the issues oh. we are having here at DreamHack Valencia. <laughs> Valencia. I like it. Oh dear. Uh, and at the moment, Wizards have the first map. Yeah, it was uh, it was pretty comfortable about what we've seen. It's two hundred and fifty to one hundred and thirty-two. Yes, well, that was well remembered. But it's currently uh, very comfortable for them in the first map. Second map, not so much. Currently two-two. We're just waiting on this next round start up. We are on board with the Wizards attack. Yeah, we're jumping go on the sticks Paluka. with Paluka and seeing he's pushing forward now, not actually checking his right because there's no one be there anyone yet. Uh, and he's actually going to hold this area. A lot of people hold this area. He has actually seen someone rushing, misses it though, and the guy comes back to challenge him. He was a little bit stuck there. If he wanted to rush, he should have just kept going. Yeah, and what was interesting to see in the top left hand side corner was the guy uh, who was on Wizards team didn't even turn around to check. And it's a good job that the guy didn't keep rushing forward as he would have an easy kill. And there's going to be another kill. Now three versus two in the favour of Wizards. Good challenge. So good challenge. He's going to go in and nah, get, doesn't get it. Pitu picks it up though. Shots. Pitu's going to take him out though with that sniper rifle. So we're going to go all ball with him. He currently has the bomb, but it's not going to matter. Because Sprat then takes it down. Yeah, most of it does. And there you go. It's the kill cam at the moment. Uh, and if you are seeing that, that is in fact, I believe... There's a little problem that occasionally happens with Codcast. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's not the stream now, it's just nah. Codcast. That'll, that'll disappear we, as soon as we get back into broke the game. It. It's okay, we got this. We broke Call of Duty. Did break Call of Duty. Now, let's jump on board with the attacking team. I'm going to go on board with Sprat. As he runs a weird route. It's an interesting route. It's, yeah, not, I think it's not very quick, really, is it? No, I think he might play hook, you know, just stay back and defend, but. I don't really know why he went that way, if I'm completely honest. Safety. Anyway, what still, safety on, still on board with Sprite. You need to keep watching behind him because if you look at your top right hand side corner of the minimap, there's one guy pushing around behind. He's just keeping wary of it. He hasn't seen him. And first blood it does actually go to Wizards. So silence can be taken down for this is three in favour of Wizards. Yeah, now still on board. He's playing defensive. Cutting Shen is actually in the middle. He just doesn't engage. Now he's going back away. There is going to be someone across this. Middle part, but he didn't see him. However, he is tracking. He might actually flank him if he's lucky here. They're going to engage right now. He's going to get shot in the side. Unfortunate for him. And it does seem like not uh, to chock. It's actually going to put the bomb down. It's now two versus one. Let's jump on board with the one. It is Wiz Pitu, and he has the MSMC, and that bomb is unfortunately now down. So he has an awful lot more work to do, and he can't do enough. Yeah, the SD seems to be pretty equal between both teams yet. Wizards obviously taking the first map. Sorry, we do not have a map count on the screen. We will uh, get that sorted probably for tomorrow. <laughs> but uh, if you're lucky, <laughs> if you're lucky, I mean, realistically, you aren't getting it. But if not, we will just have to get Twitter up and we'll do score by score. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we'll keep, <laughs> we keep it. It's Damien Bryce here, good like that. That's fine. It's okay. Right now, we're going to jump on board with the Wizards lineup once again, and let's go. Let's actually have a look at the scoreboard to see who we should jump on board with. It's going to be Epico. He is currently 5 and 3, so leading his team in the score at the moment. As he looks like he might. No, he's not. He's going to go through the middle. I thought for a second there he's going to go up top. But it looks like he wants to push through the middle and actually take shots there. Yeah, he's staying alive. So the main thing you need to do in SD is push very far forward. Up on the safe side, very rare move, but he is going to get into a very good position to defend it. And he's walked straight past a couple of players. But as said, he There's is two in coming. There's two coming. One. No patience though, because the second one has actually gone up top, and he has managed to get away with that as he oh, does pick up the second shot. as well. Epico, usually a, a few players would wait for a second there and give the call out, but he decided to take the shot away. The other player went up top, and there you go. He just managed to pick him up before he got away. Yeah, yeah there's the round ending kill cam with the final headshot, and that is now going to be 4-3 to Wizards. Both teams seem to be running a lot of their attacks at the moment. So what they need to do is really hold this defense down and let's change it up to see what the other team can do. And we're still yet to confirm their name, I do believe. But uh, yeah, we are just waiting to get this started. Yeah, so certainly so. Now let's actually jump on board with that team and let's go on board with Nocta de Choc and see how he is going to play this one. All of them have actually gone to the B bomb site. One of them already gone down, two of them are down already. 
Silen and Sprat, the only two left alive, and they're going to have to back off his bomb down as well. And there is somebody flanking. Who is that man on the side? It is Paluka. And if he carries on the way he is, he's going to come up beside him. Let's have a quick look at this. And he does. Takes him in the bag. It is now one versus four for Sprat. And he also drops. Wizards taking the lead for the first time in the game. Yeah, we're going to actually see the Wizards team from where we are. In their lime green, awful jerseys. <laughs> also all wearing flip-flops. Standard. Any of the Marin socks? Uh... Checking for fashion faux pas, and uh, now <laughs> you I just need to look down, mate. Yeah, but it's stuff in the way. Yeah, black ups t-shirt and flowery shorts. Ain't nothing wrong with my black ups top and flowery shorts. Leave me alone. There's nothing right with it either. Oh! Back into the game, <laughs> Boa Stylex pushing down this right hand side. It does seem as if they're going for an A push. Something we've seen very, very often so far in the three games that we commented in eight hours. Oh, Boa Stylex down the right hand side. So, so now on the sticks with Stylex. He's going to pick up one here, and he does. Another person in there, he does have support from his teammate. It's currently two versus two. The Wizards currently have this locked down. There is nobody to challenge them yet. However, one person has just entered. Sprat is on the case. What can he do in this area? Is he going to find him? No, Sprat has actually just ran around in a circle around each other. He's currently wondering where on earth have they gone. Stylex is now set up. Sprat's gone for the Sprat's defuse. gone for the defuse. Just halfway through. Oh, oh it's so close. Peter is going to come out just at the right time. Shen has worked to do. Just spot somebody down that left-hand side. There. Takes, takes out, one. out one. He needs a second one if he wants any chance to do it. And he's hurry up about it. Peter should not engage this. He is actually up top, I believe. He's going to check it. Yeah, Peter's one there. All you need to do, yeah, fantastic play, he comes down for the kill anyway. But all you need to do is sit up there. When there's around 12 seconds left, all you need to do, you know they don't have time to defuse the bomb as you would have heard it if they were defusing it anyway. And there we go. Easy kill for them. And Wizards take the second map. SD and Hardpoint both going to them. We're going to go on to capture the flag next. And at the moment, Wizards seem to be firmly in control here. Oh yeah, definitely 2 0 Very, very comfortable. Next map is going to be Slums on CTF. Well, CTF on Slums, sorry. And we'll see what's going to happen with that map. I would imagine that Wizards uh, pretty much will dominate it, but we're just going to hold on until the next map is 